If a picture is worth a thousand words, a heartwarming yet heartbreaking novel could be written from these photos. She immediately forgets what she reads, but because this is something that she's done her entire life, it's very comforting to her. This photo shows the toll it can take in just a few short years, as Margaret Washington's younger sister holds a picture of herself before Alzheimer's set in. With the other two sisters who spend very little time with her and other family members, they're always shocked. And so I thought this would be a good way to capture some of the images of her as she progressed. Cognitive neuroscientist Whitney Wharton studies Alzheimer's from the patient's side and the people who care for them. Wharton says one of the biggest mistakes caregivers make is not caring for themselves. Caregivers, you know, they will be stressed. They won't eat properly. They don't have time to exercise. And that's unfortunate because, you know, during middle age, particularly for women, is the time when um, we really need to take care of our bodies. Another common mistake, always correcting the patient's stories. Wharton says reminding them that they are wrong only further confuses and upsets them. You can let them think that they went, to, went out to lunch yesterday when they didn't. You know, you don't have to say, no, 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 that didn't happen. Um, you can just kind of say, oh, you know, yeah, that's great. I'm glad that you enjoyed yourself. And finally, not planning is another big mistake. Before Alzheimer's takes over completely, involve the patient in things like making a will, deciding on power of attorney, choosing an assisted living facility if it comes to that, and most important of all, working out a financial plan. Because these photos through the eyes of the caregiver show there are some things you can't control, so control the things you can. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.